Let's review the date time components available in UI Builder. When you add these components to your pages from the UI Builder toolbox, they give you control over what end users can enter for date time fields. Let's see how they work. The date time component supports three input types, date only, date and time, and time only. For date and date and time fields, clicking the input field expands the picker, where users either enter a value in the field itself at the top or select the date from the calendar and manually enter the time. The time input field doesn't have an associated picker, so the user manually enters the desired time. Next, let's look at the date time interval component, which also supports the previously mentioned input types. Clicking an input field expands the picker. If no value is currently selected, users will be able to select a start and end date. However, if the start input field contains a value, any selection that precedes the end date will update the start value. Likewise, if the end date contains a value, any selection that follows the start date will update the end value. The date interval component works the same way. Both components also have several configurations to support the broad set of use cases across all applications. The first option is to hide adjacent dates like we see here. The second option is to set the first day of the week to any day. Here we set it to Monday. A third option is to disable one or more dates so they're visible but can't be selected. Here we've disabled a date range. And here we've disabled weekends. A fourth option is to vertically stack your interval inputs. And finally, you can adjust the gap size between your interval input fields. As we've seen, date time components give you control over how users enter dates, times, and intervals in your UI builder pages. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.